Hello everyone. So many of you were asking me to create a video on the recently launched immigration program for IT professionals. So here's the video about the same. Newfoundland and Labrador PNP program has recently launched a new immigration pathway especially for IT professionals and this video is all about that. Is this pathway any good for you? Will it actually help you immigrate to Canada? We'll talk about this in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, I'm Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and yes, press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, this program is actually known as the Priority Skills Newfoundland and Labrador program. Now this program is supposed to be launched on 2nd of January 2021. It was recently announced only last week. Now they've given certain details about this program that we'll discuss in this video. But before that let me tell you that NLPNP or Newfoundland Labrador PNP program is divided into five different categories. The first one is the Express Entry Skilled Worker category. The second one is Skilled Worker category. Third one is International Graduate category. Then the International Entrepreneur category and the last one is International Graduate Entrepreneur category. All these different categories basically required a job offer from that province to be eligible for that PNP program. But this new program which would be launched early next year which is actually just one month away from now would not require any job offer let us so that's the best point about this immigration program okay now let's quickly check out the eligibility criteria so this program is basically for two different categories the first one is for those who completed their masters or phd from the memorial university in the last three years with a degree related to information and communication technology, ocean technology, healthcare, agriculture, and aquaculture. The second category is for those IT professionals. So professionals with work experience in the following high skilled, high demand occupations would be considered, which are software developer, biomedical engineer, UI or UX developer, then electrical engineer, AI developer, Mechanical Engineer, Python Developer, .NET Developer, Infrastructure Engineer, Security Specialist, Cloud Specialist, Bioinformation, Computer Network Support. But there's a hidden fact in this announcement here because this was just an announcement and this program hasn't been started. So all these people that we just listed out, if you have work experience in any of these, you should actually have the work experience from Canada. If you have a work experience from around the world, let's say from India and you don't have any Canadian work experience, then you won't be eligible. It's not listed out properly, but in the website, they've listed out few examples. We'll go through that and then we'll try to understand that information from those examples. The other eligibility criteria is that the individuals need to have taken an IELTS or self pip test within the last one year with CLB 5 or higher. CLB 5 guys is super easy if you know English if you can speak or understand English CLB 5 would be very easy CLB 9 is the target for people who want to score good in express entry CLB 5 is super easy so you don't have to worry about this point all candidates must be at least 21 years or old at the time of application so this is the another criteria okay so now let's quickly check out those examples through which we can understand that these professionals with work experience are required with work experience in Canada. Right, so this is the official website of government of uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. And here, down here, they've mentioned a few examples. This is the example for the post-secondary graduate. Uh, and this is the example for candidates with work, work experience. So here they've listed out that, uh, for example, if Lee is uh, from Hong Kong and he has three years of work experience as a software engineer, he worked in Newfoundland and Labrador for those two years. So mind it, they're talking about someone who has a, the Canadian work experience. Similarly, in the second example as well, Orly is from Mauritius and has been living in another part of Canada for six years, working as a project manager for a major Canadian IT company, which again means that they need to have the Canadian work experience. 
so yes as and when more details are released about this program i'll try to create a detailed video on this but we can say that this program is for those it professionals who have canadian work experience even they might not be working in canada they don't require job offer to be eligible for this program but they need to have a canadian work experience if you have the work experience only from india or maybe from us even then you won't actually qualify for this program all right so that's it that's all the information i wanted to share through this video if you like the content please click the thumbs up button if you have any comments any feedback please put it down in the comment section below and yes if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video thanks again